going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really, really cool plugin slash pack for Final Cut Pro and for uh, Motion 5 if you have that installed. So this pack will work if you have Final Cut Pro 10 uh, version 10.3 and above. If you're using Motion 5, I don't know the exact version, so I'll leave that down in the description along with the pack if you guys want to try this out for yourself. You can also try out the free version, link in the description. But if you want the full entire pack, which contains more than 1,400 elements in this pack link in the description as well You'll, you can also get a discount which is uh on me so you know <clears throat> you're welcome so anyways let me show you how to install it all right so when you purchase and download the pack it's going to come in a zip file all i gotta do is unzip it and a new folder will appear like this so you're gonna have i think five folders so you're gonna have the main folder here which contains all of the titles and then you're gonna have the transitions folder which has the transitions of course and then you also have sound effects so here you have like whooshes you have clicks bass percussions glitch sound effects you have a whole bunch of really cool sound effects you have cartoon ones here as well as game sounds and then you have the fonts where you can download the fonts for free also a big shout out to motion can for sponsoring today's video so a big thanks to you uh, what you want to do to install this is very simple all you got to do is press command t to open up a new tab and then what you want to do is go into the applications folder so this process is if you don't have motion 5 installed so all you got to do is find the final cut pro application right click and go to show package contents so then you want to go into the contents folder then you want to go into the plugins folder then you want to go into the media providers folder and then open up the motion effect uh, .fxp folder open up the contents folder open up the resources folder and then you want to open the templates folder and then you're going to have titles and then transitions you should have this for sure this is more of a of a fail proof method of installing the pack slash plugin so open up the titles and then now you can see i have the files pasted in here i've already done this but you would just press command v or go to the top and go to edit and paste item and then if you want to install the transitions all you're going to do is go back one folder back into the templates folder and then you're going to have the transitions folder open that one and paste the transitions folder of the toco graphics and now you can quit and reopen final cut if you've had it in uh, open in the background all right so this vlog here is just a quick little sample from kara and nate link in the description as well so it's a i think it's a vlog for of them visiting the philippines and i want to show you how to apply some maybe some transitions as well as some titles and show you how you would use it for a vlog now this is my own taste there's like thousands of possibilities that you can create with this as you can see so i'm not going to go through every single uh, element in this pack so if you guys want to try it out for yourself visit it down in the description so what i want to do first is i'm going to move the time head to the beginning of this video here where they're talking around here i want to add like a little subscribe button so if we go into the over here you're gonna have the titles and generators go into titles and then go into the toco graphics files you're gonna have all of the elements here and now we have here the social media icons which are honestly my favorite ones in this pack and they're animated of course as you can see you can customize the numbers and you have this here so i want to work with this one here so i'm gonna add his instagram first so you have this one here which is a shorter version and then you have this one so this one's more of like a bold font you can change the font so what i want to do is i'm going to drag the first one right where the time hit is at i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to push play where they start talking and in the published parameters you can change all of the values here and customize it to your liking so from this point all you gotta do is you have the build in and build out you will have this for most of the elements in the titles so if you turn these off they will not animate in which is kind of lame in my opinion so i think having them checked makes them look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer so i'm gonna leave it how it is you can also rotate this by clicking this little wheel and rotating this to however you want it to look like personally i'm gonna leave it how it is i think it looks great like that you can also change the overall scale now this scale will change depending on which element you're using and i'll show you that in just a second so we can increase the scale like this right now i want to move this to the bottom left corner of this video so i'm going to go to where it says position you have x and y i'm going to move the x to the left and then the y i'm going to move this down now from this point i want to change the words so i'm going to go into here and I'm gonna scroll up and you can see motion can underscore design. I'm gonna change that to Kate. Her name's Kara. 
Kara and Nate's, sorry Kara if I, if I uh, mispronounced your name here. Uh, Kara and Nate's looks pretty good. I'm gonna increase the size of this. And you can also change the font if you don't like Beba's new. You can easily change that to any other font that you've installed on your Mac, which is really neat. I think this one looks kind of cool, to be honest. So I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna make this smaller. And I'm gonna go back over here to the parameters with the text, and I'm gonna move the text. So right now you have the control box. This will control the box. So you have 0.2, so you can make this longer if you have a really long username or make this shorter. I'm gonna show it a little bit to the right. Then you have 0.1, uh, this will control the left side, I'm assuming. And then you have the box height. You can make this really short or really big. So I'm going to go and make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna move the text here. Okay, so what you wanna to do to change the, the actual text, you can just click and drag and move this and that should just be fine. And you can also change the color. So maybe you don't want purple. You can click on this and a new colors spectrum here will show. So you can change this and change it to a different color if you wanted to. So we can do like red or pink. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it how it is. Uh, and then you have the shear. If you click and drag this, this will make it a little bit italicized. And for all of these, you also have keyframes. So you can keyframe this in and out however you want. You can also decrease the opacity. You can do so much and this is only one element. So just make sure you render this. So go to the top, go to modify and then render selection and this will render it so it plays back smoothly. So uh, that's one of them. And uh, another one that I want to show you is the uh, animated text or the animated social media icon here. So maybe they're talking here, maybe right there. And I want to have like a, I don't know, like a comment or this is also Instagram. So this keep that in mind. So you can change the numbers here if you wanted to. I'm going to do this one here. You can also do this one, which is kind of funny if, if you're doing like a on screen a poll, you can do that. So if I were to drag this here, you can change a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm not going to go through every single thing just because it will be very time consuming. Uh, but I'm going to push play so you can see what it is. So we have yes and no. I'm going to show you the quick things that you would want to change. So first thing is the text. So maybe you want yes, maybe you want no. Looks great. The font is a little too big. So I'm going to go over to the text size and that's going to be right over uh, here we go size text A, and I'm assuming that's the left one. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna click and drag this, maybe move it here. And I also want to move the position on this. So I'm gonna move it there. And then the Y axis, I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Uh, let's say you have a really long one, a long word, uh, like yes, instead of, uh, I don't know, no bro, <laughs> for some reason, I'm gonna select the text and I wanna make the size a lot smaller like that. And then I'm gonna go to the Y axis and just move this to the middle move this to the left, and then you can also move this whole piece if you don't want it in the middle. The piece here, instead of it being from the center, you can move it to the left, to the right, wherever you want. Just go to the position here and drag this to the left, and then we can move this down to the bottom so it's not covering their face. And you have a whole bunch of other ones here. You have like this one, drag it over and push play. Very, very cool. Another one that you can do is have these over here, so if I were to push play, you can do something like that. Of course, you can move this, select the elements, in this case, the title, go to the position and just make this, you can drag this, I'm gonna drag it to the right this time and I'm gonna drag it down. I'm gonna change the scale and maybe the rotation like so. There we go. And I'm going to move this down more like that. So push play, looks like that, really cool. And another one that you can use are like these like the quick little like ones. So if I were to drag this here and push play, you got that. Of course, you can move it and change the color. You can change the color on this one, have it like red. And then I'm going to change the scale and I'm going to go to the X axis. You can do something like this, push play. Looks really cool. Um, so another one that you can do is the titles, uh, but you also have messages here. You, know, you can change everything in the messages, but all of these have specific parameters that you would have to change. So I can't go through every single one, unfortunately, that would take forever. <laughs> but yeah, you have these here, which are like titles. So if I were to drag this one over maybe here and I push play, you have something that looks like this, super cool. So you can change this to have it say uh, Philippines. Uh, so Philippines, you do something like this and I push play that super, super dope. Um, now that is one way, of course, you have a whole bunch of other titles that you can try out and see which one looks best for your type of video and for this specific scene. So of course, 
you know, different titles will look better on certain scenes than other ones. So just try them out and see which one looks the best. See, that one looks really cool. Kind of gives you that National Geographic effect. Uh, so if I were to go down, you can also see other ones. You have the typographic, more of a corporate slide. Another cool one that I want to show you are these here are the quick little shape ones. So I'm going to use this one here. So I'm gonna click and drag this right over there. And now I'm going to skim through the video there. Perfect. And now I'm going to change the position. I'm gonna move this to the left here. And now I'm gonna move this down. Click and drag this down. And I can also change the scale of this if you wanted to. And we can change the width. So if I were to increase the scale, and now I can change the width so it's a lot thinner. And I can change the color of this. So we can do maybe like yellow, but look kind of cool. So now if I push play, looks like that. For this, it's very simple. I'm going to go for the YouTube one, but you also have like Twitter and Behance, Facebook, etc. Let's suppose that this is the beginning of the video. You can do something like that. And then it's going to kind of show the, the user the username. So let's say for, instead of it saying your channel, we're gonna type in uh, Kara and Nate. Kara and Nate, and then here instead of it saying, you can have whatever text you want, but for this I'm going to type in uh, youtube.com slash Kara and Nate. I'm not too sure if that's their actual username, but you can do that. And you can also change the font. So let's say that for the for text A font, which is this one, we can change the font to, you can do like Rockwell, you can do this one, you can do Primetime. These are the ones that I have installed for now. Uh, but you have a whole bunch of fonts here. So I'm gonna undo that though and I'm going to go for black. And for the bottom text, you can also make that maybe a little thinner if you wanted to, like that. So now, if I were to make this full screen, it looks like this. So for the quality of the video, it's just playing back and better performance. And then from here, we can add a transition over here. I like to add these in the, the bottom ones, which are the overlay transitions. I'm gonna drag this one here and add it there and delete the end. So now if I were to render this out and I go back and push play, it's going to animate in with a circle. It's gonna show the name for a couple seconds and animate out with a circle as well, which is really cool. And then it would of course transition to another clip. So if you wanna make the logo reveal a lot shorter with the transition, go to these two dots on the top right and click and drag this to the left. So now if I push play, it's going to animate out before that. So maybe here before that happens, there we go. Perfect. And so there you go. Uh, that's pretty much a quick little overview of this pack. I didn't go super in depth just because there's just too much to cover here. I just showed you the basics of what this pack has as well as what you can change and add onto your video and uh, which ones specifically to add on your video if you're gonna be doing vlogs and stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think of this pack and if you found this video helpful, please leave a like down in the like section, comment down below, turn on the bell notification and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.